Okay, in this video we're going to look at how we go about submitting our first uh, programming assignment, Lab Zero. In the previous video we showed you how to install the uh, virtual machine you'll be using. So let's go back to that VM player icon and double click on that uh, to get our VM started up again and this time you'll see that it'll be listed in the uh, set of VMs available and we can just double click that and get it to start playing. And again, just uh, dismiss those windows that pop up. And it'll go through the installation process again, since we started it from scratch again. And uh, we'll get to our, uh, when this is completed, we'll get to our login screen uh, for our happy user. I will click on the happy user type in my password that I set up previously and we'll get started in our uh, virtual machine. So to get started on this first programming assignment we're going to go to the course materials folder since we already updated the uh, virtual machine previously we'll see that labs there's a lab zero folder already set up now. Every time you do update course we will download a few more files that will help you with the next homework assignment. So let's uh, open up Lab 0 and we'll see that there's a C file called uh, arrays.c. We can edit that file using uh, the Emacs editor, although you can set up to use any editor you like. There's many available here under uh, the Applications menu or in the Accessories menu. So I'm just going to go up to our menu bar and click Emacs. Once Emacs comes up, I can go and open an existing file and navigate to Course Materials, Lab 0, Arrays.c. And here we'll see the contents of that file inside of Emacs. And I can now edit this file following the instructions for the homework assignment. Once I'm done with, once I'm done with all the things that I have to do for Lab 0 and I've finished my edits to the Arrays.c file, I can save it from Emacs and then go to a terminal window by just clicking on the terminal icon and navigate to the Lab0 directory. I can do that uh, in Linux by using the directory listing uh, command, the ls, uh, and then the change directory command. In this case, I'm changing the directory to course materials. Uh, then listing its contents and changing the directory again to lab0 where we see the arrays.c file. At this point I can type submit homework lab0 submit homework dash homework is a little utility we've provided to help you with the submission process and it asks me for my uh, email address that I will need for my submission if I can spell it correctly and then for my submission password the submission password is not your Coursera um, password, but a single-use uh, password that's generated on the website uh, for your particular username. So if I go to programming assignments, at the very top here, I will see my submission login, my, the email address I'm using, and a submission password. I can generate new passwords by just clicking on this. And then I have to make sure to use the most current one. Uh, so I'm going to use this one right now uh, and go type that into the, um, my virtual machine. I can take that password and type it in here. You will not see it being echoed uh, to the screen. So be careful in uh, typing it in and making sure that you have all the uh, capital letters and lowercase letters correct and then you can confirm that that is in fact the file that you want to upload and uh, you can officially get credit for uh, this lab. We allow you to do up to three submissions and then we'll take the maximum score across the three and that will be the general policy for all the homework assignments in the course and you'll be following essentially the same procedure uh, for each one.